Hello and happy full moon. All right, let's get into it, Taurus. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity in every area of your lives. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. So let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The chariot card, right? So actually you're being rewarded for just your hard work and just closing out, you know, investing any more time or emotion into, you know, something that just would have taken you down off of your crown of emotions, right? Here we have, I mean, taking you down off of your throne of emotions, right? Unhealthy, you know, emotions. Here we have Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is definitely putting in the hard work. Here we have the um, six. Um, you're not looking for anybody's acceptance or approval anymore. You're just moving forward. Here we also have the King of Cups, uh, which is a good thing, right? So... If anything, you're learning how to save yourself, the heartbreak and heartache and all of that other stuff. And you're pouring into yourselves. Like, I love this for you all because, again, you all are an incredibly um, patient sign. And, again, I'm just I'm talking to you all um, wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. So even for my cross watchers, please check to see where Taurus is in your birth chart. You're definitely not pouring into energies that's not willing to put the same level, you know, same kind of work. The less time, especially if it's an earth sign, time is money. Pentacles is not only just money, but it's money, it's wealth, it's uh, generosity, it's also um, uh, practicality, it's health. And, you know, it's, it's just not good for your health to keep investing time into something where you're just like uh, if I'm at a fork in the road in some things and, and I kind of have a feeling that you know you, we're on different we have different ideas about you know um, you know water right um, you're in great spirits like I said you're just adjusting your crown you feel you feel happy and charismatic and free you're working hard you know, you somebody may have either gotten accepted somewhere where, like I said, source is accepting you into something. So you're getting some good news. You, somebody is really just starting to think about like the quality of relationships. You know, you're like, okay, if I'm gonna be around energies, I want, I want the, I want the it to be an even exchange of things, right? Because we're talking about when you, you see the, the chariot card. I mean, the chariot. You're saying you want the you want the even exchange of just like they feel the same way about you. Do you feel about them? Like y'all are on the same frequency when it comes to your feelings and what you're willing to invest in some things. So yeah, you're somebody is saying the less time you put into things, the less time it's going to take for you to you know heal some emotions. So here we have the Empress card. So yeah, so. I definitely feel like somebody is definitely interested in marriage. Somebody's definitely interested in like creating a life with somebody. And so, like I said, if you would discuss things at the root, like in the beginning, somebody is saying before my emotions and all of that get involved. That's the beautiful thing about full moon energy too, is like when you talk about entering into friendships, romantic relationships and jobs, your personal and your professional life, just like a probationary period on a job. This is how you this is how you are blossoming and blooming in this cycle. It's like, okay, I'm going to treat everything like a probationary period. Okay, well, I, you know, it's at will. You can leave at will, I can leave at will. That's that's the frequency that you're on. And um and so that's what <clears throat> that's what I see. You making sure that something just does not limit your abundance. You've already been through that before and you're not interested in going through that again. So, here we have the uh, magician card. That's how you're taking your power back. You're not, you know, putting so much time in things because you all are so incredibly patient with people um, that you're not going to walk away confused or having some kind of disorganized mind or like, what did I do? What did I not do? You know, you're you're learning how to say, OK, I, I know how to save myself, you know, the heartache and heartbreak. I don't need any distractions in my life. That's how somebody is learning how to, you know, move forward. So good for you. Good for you. Here's the world card. So full card and world card. That's from the beginning to the end. Somebody's like, okay, I'm closing out cycles. I'm moving forward, not looking back. And that's it. And your strength card, right? So you have learned how to master your spirit matters and also heal yourself through just some past relationships where you've had to tap into your strength and, you know, be around ener energies that had a, that they were, had the inability to control their passions, right? You've been around very... Um, 
uh, what is it, very obsessed energies. You've already been there before, so you're not interested in doing that again, you know, where people want to know your every move, every second of the day, what you're doing, you know, you can't get a chance to think or process your thoughts, so you're you're decide, you're making the best decision for you, and it's going to pay off handsomely, so, so let's see what that looks like for you, yeah, let's see what that looks like. So somebody feels like something is fulfilled, you're embarking on a whole new journey. Here we have the Seven of Cups here. And so um, I definitely feel like somebody's moving on in childlike faith. You know, there are some temptations all around you, but somebody's definitely moving on in childlike faith, adjusting your crown and just, you know, pouring yourself into recognizing that you're not casting your pearls, you know, before, you know, energies. In other words, you're, 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 they're pouring just as much as you're pouring, whoever it is, friend, new friendships or whatever. So Somebody had to learn from two situations in particular that you're not going to be doing all the one that's pouring all your creativity into things and you're just getting a minimal back. So, good. This is great. This is how you blossom and blooming. So, be careful with the, when we got the number seven. Seven is the number for completion. So, you're not even asking why anymore. Once you see something like, so when we talk about snake energy, I know a lot of people hear, you know, you hear negativity about snakes, but snakes also symbolizes a rebirth, right? So somebody has seen snake energy, the venomous side of the snake, right? And so you're learning how to move out of the way when you see non-venomous um, activity, right? So like if you were gardening something, like you're putting something in, uh, planting some new seeds, right? And you were gardening in your own garden and you saw a black snake or like a non-venomous snake come through your your uh, flower bed and you're like, okay, that's a non-venomous snake, but still I saw something. Maybe there's some other snakes around. You're saying, yeah, you, you're starting to just kind of sort of hit a reset button and learn how to just pour into you. So this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. And you're going to feel real fortunate to do that too. Like, because um, this is your year. This is, when I say this right here, Wheel of Fortune, you're going to feel actually really, really lucky to just take some time to just protect your the, your sacred waters. That's what this is. Your waters are sacred. You're learning how to protect yourself, protecting your gifts. Here we have the Knight of Wands here. So you're just staying away from anything that could cause you to, any, you're staying away from toxicity, in other words. Like the, the clear liquids that, you know, with fire that could just explode at any point, right? You somebody staying away from alcohol, somebody is staying away from, you know, or in excess. Somebody is staying away from, um, uh, somebody is staying away from a whole lot of things. Somebody is staying away from, um unhealthy romantic relationship you're just staying away from a whole lot of things so this is like a, a major reset for somebody because you you said you've already been around that before it's already you know it's not even it, it's not even it's just not healthy for you so somebody's just hanging in with themselves and just doing a major reset here so congratulations to you congratulations 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 this is good here we have the nine of wands here you're at the end of a long and arduous journey and so source is saying as soon as you feel like there's some it's toxicity, somebody's going to be like, I'm getting the heck out of Dodge as fast as possible. Somebody's been around uh, water energy and fire energy, and somebody's like, you know, it feels, it feels better to be on the throne, you know, and adjusting your crown. It feels good to be in good spirits, being around inspirational, motivational people. You only want any parts of just being around that toxicity. So I definitely feel like... Um, I feel like as you're closing out cycles, Taurus, and you're just taking a minute to just regroup and reset... The 2.0, the the you coming back out, you know, with some stuff. Some people are going to feel like, wow, like, oh, my God. Like, you're you're just overflowing with creativity, right? And just like, well, okay, what, who have they been around? Like, what, <laughs> you know, so that's what Source is saying. Keep your vibrations high because a lot of blessings are trying to come in. You just need to be around a different group of people because of your gifts. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. It's like, you really need to be around other energies where you're, you you feel like your gifts are protected. So new money is coming in. Yeah. Some kind of, like I said, approval for both your personal and your professional life is like coming in. So it's like, it's worth money. So, you know, some kind of grant money or something or something is coming in for you all that's going to help you to create a different kind of life. Just being around clear water energy, really. Something is coming in that's going to, like money is coming across your path. A so chariot card. This is a double win for you. A double win for you to just really tap into that sacred water of yours. Somebody is starting to be a little bit more selective in just like the types of energy. Because you're just at a higher frequency now. And that's what Source is trying to get you to. Like somebody is feeling a lot more positive on that throne. I love it. 
you know, you worked really hard to get to your throne. That number seven right there is like source made it make sense. You had lightning bolt insight about just how the, the your time is your money. Pentacles like is also it can affect your health because health is wealth. And you just like, okay, you don't want to be around that toxic stuff, you know, because it costs money. Imagine just being around that toxicity and you always having to buy drinks or, you know, take people out and do all of this other stuff. Somebody just want to just do a whole big reset. And I'm talking to men and women, by the way. Somebody is saying, I'm just doing a whole reset. So, yep. Sustainable income. Somebody's rather growing their money. And that's what you're learning how to do. Invest in yourself and growing your own money. So, yeah. And here we go. Yep. Look. So... It's two types of energies that cause the emotional wounding to begin with. And so you're learning how to leave them outside of your vault door. They cause some kind of emotional wounding to begin with. And now they're outside of your vault door. And now what you're thinking about is your legacy, protecting your legacy. And so, like I said, seven is the number for completion. Source completed whatever message that source wanted to get through to you. You got the message through loud and clear loud and clear sources say listen i need you to start focusing on your legacy now like who you want to build with i see some kind of partnership and business and in love coming across your path i see somebody living a like like i don't know like more low-key life i mean it just depends on like what your you know what your purpose is you know like your your gifts are gonna make room for you some people are more introverted more introverted more people some people are more extroverted but whatever it calls for, you're divinely protected, you know, either way. So this is good. I'm loving what I'm seeing here, your cards. Here we have the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords. Here we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Devil card, and also the Hangman. Mm -hmm. Two situations in particular, like I said, Swords are saying, hang in there with yourselves because, you know, you sacrifice your old self. You're not that person you used to be. You know, you know, you're you're learning how to, like I said, somebody is definitely growing. You are in this flower moon phase. You have definitely shed some old skin. You're like, OK, I'm wiser now. And I'm more like a lot more mature. Here's the devil card right here. Somebody is learning how to um, when you feel like there's a uh, when you feel like there's a, um, a fork in the road for you. You're learning how to create very firm boundaries and enforce those boundaries in love and say, okay, when people leave me out of stuff, you know what? I'm just going to move on. It, you know, you got emotions. If you feel like crying, you're going to cry about it or release, work it out. Let your skin cry through sweat, but you're going to close it out sooner. You're like, okay, if you're not feeling me, I, 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 I'm not forced nothing. <laughs> I'm just moving on with my life because you don't really know what's in people's minds. Like you really just don't know if they somebody talking to somebody else it don't really matter but i definitely feel like where you are right now is that you've learned how to move on from some disappointments in the past you learn how to you are inspired to just move on does not put any time to the, any more extra time into things so here we go here we have the page of swords here and so whatever anxiety you may have been having about a lot of things it'll be going away soon here we have the four of pentacles here so yeah um definitely um You and somebody are learning how to keep people out of your business. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. You and somebody are like, you keep, you're learning how to be very conservative with your time and keep energies out of your business. That's what you're learning how to do. Yeah. You're learning how to create sustainable income. You know, you're learning how to protect your water because you got a lot of mirroring spirits out here, copying stuff, projecting, you know, their idea of stuff into... You know, they're trying to project their idea of how much time you need to invest in certain things. And, you know, just enough time for them to, you know, take, you know, whatever, steal your, whatever they're doing. Y'all yeah, know. Anyway, here we have Page of um, page of Wands. And so um, I definitely feel like somebody's going to feel like a teenager again, you know, moving on. So somebody, the, the main takeaway for you is just that the more time you've invested and you learn, like just people will try to keep you out of some things. And so somebody's hitting a reset button and just learning, you know, you're just learning, you know, you're just learning, you know, so I don't really talk about humility on my channel because I don't need to. Everybody has been humbled and 
You know, you can have, um, like I said, you're on your throne. You're a hardworking person. Somebody's a seven of pentacles. Two situations in particular, you're very clear about the two types of situations in particular. And you're very clear that you don't want to be around toxic energy anymore. That's what somebody's like. I just don't want to be around the toxicity anymore, you know, at all. And um, as, as much as you can help it. And like I said, you're getting it, you're bolting out of there if you feel like, okay, if this right here feels like it's, it's fire on something where it just feels like it's just a toxic situation, it's going to mess up my money, it's going to mess up, you know, the time and effort that I've invested in myself, I'm out of here. I don't have nothing to do with it, right? So that's the frequency that somebody is on. Like you work way too hard. You're not messing up. You're not messing up your life. So kudos and congratulations to you. Yep, kudos and congratulations to you for that. So let's see what else we got going on here. So yeah, so somebody's saying, yeah, you, you, you're you not spending a whole lot of time around stuff. You Like I said, you and somebody, y'all building a rich legacy together. You're not looking for people's acceptance and approval anymore. You're staying away from a whole bunch of mess. Here we have three of cups, and somebody's just glad that the past is behind them. Somebody says, you know, I'm just glad that the past is behind, it's over. Here we have the Queen of Cups, whatever it is, whatever it is you're going through. Like something was causing somebody some kind of emotional wounding, but um, somehow tied to money or something. But somebody's just glad that the past is over. Here we have uh, Seven and Three. Source is actually make, getting you, making some divine connections for you, though. That's what Source is doing. It's like putting you, making some divine connections. You had to learn how to save yourself, you know, get, get away from certain types of people. But Source is make, making some divine connections for you so you can stay on your throne of your emotions here we also have six of wands so i definitely feel like somebody is slaying whatever their demons are you know whatever calls you to operate in the, and i say that because of the devil card devil card connects us with enslaved to obsessions lust restrictions whatever you know so if he was lust around money or or water or you know being around toxicity or whatever source is like okay i'm breaking all of that up you need to create some very firm boundaries stay away from certain types of people you know, and that's what somebody is doing. So, um, yeah, there's, there's depth. Now that you're out of some stuff, there's definitely some energies that's trying, will try to reach out to you from their own personal, they'll try to reach out to you if you're like in a meditative state or just through the memories, you know? So if you're on a lower frequency, they'll try to reach out to you via memories, via telepathy and that kind of stuff. You know, especially if you're going through some kind of deep disappointment or heartbreak, just keep pouring into yourselves. Keep pouring into yourselves, you know, and keep nurturing yourselves the best way that you, you know, how to. Pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is. You know, um, here we also have the queen of wands here. And um, stay around energies that's in, encouraging you to adjust your crown, you know, inspiring you, motivating you. You know, um, if you if you've pulled your birth chart, here's the judgment card here. Um, you're actually, you know, you're making a total transformation of everything. That's why I said somebody's like, you know what, when you're in spaces, I just feel like somebody is just like, once you just get a feeling that something is imbalanced in your life, you're like, uh-uh, I'm parting ways. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Here we had a king of wands and there's definitely some energies that are, you know, that are watching, you know, they're, they're definitely watching fire hot and mad, upset about whatever, but that's between them and, you know, that's between whoever don't matter. Um, so let's see what else we got going on. You're going to continue working hard, investing in yourself. You know, I, I feel like somebody has been around enough anxiety, enough predatory energies that you know how now somebody understands how powerful your prayers are and how source has been able to, you know, has answered your prayers to just get away from, you know, certain types of energies and, um, and how many people are praying who have been praying for you. That's why Source is putting you, making divine connections of people who will be praying for you and not being around people who will pray on you. So I hope somebody uses this time to just really relax. And like I said, hang in there. See how this person is kind of like relaxing, hanging in there. Be patient with yourselves, you know, in this whole process. Your ancestors have a message. Yeah, I see you being booked and busy and not burdened. So it's about time you treat yourself to a spa day. Wealth isn't within your reach. Yep, I'm not surprised at that. Like I said, sources say it's time to keep some people out of your life, for real. It's just time to keep some people away from you. You're not looking for their acceptance and looking for their approval. Just keep people out of your business. Oh, my God. Because some people are not happy without you, but they're not happy with themselves. And so 
you know, Angel Raphael, the healer and protector of travelers is with you. And so some energies are still telling lies. I mean, you know, whatever. Who cares? So more money is coming soon. Like I said, keep it off of social media. Somebody has a demon of envy. So your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And so if you feel like you got to, you know, you know, be around energies or you got to you got to stay zoned out because of money issues and people are trying to, you know, take advantage of stuff. And you like I said, people are preying on your money or trying to mess up your money. It's not it's not really it's not worth it. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. That's what I'm talking about. Stay away from these negative energies. You got too much. You got too many blessings trying to come in. You got too many blessings trying to come in. And um, you're doing a total transformation. And see, here's the thing about keeping people out of your business, too, is that source is saying you're going to come back to what you were, what you started anyway. It was already predestined for you to be very wealthy anyway. <laughs> you know, it was just predestined for you to be wealthy. But again, somebody may have been inspired by, you know, somebody regrets lying to you. Yeah, somebody regrets lying to you, whoever. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Messenger of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New love awaits. I hope that somebody really protects their new love interest. Like you would protect, like I say, make it sacred. You know, like, you know, if somebody has a sacred love interest coming your way, that's going to feel the same way about you that you feel about them. It's just balanced. Like I said, I see marriage and love and or in business and in business coming across somebody's path. And the, the, the energy is the same. Um... Personally, I feel like it's a war against relationship. That's why I'm like, oh, for real, online, just the stuff that... That's why I'm, I don't even spend any time on social media. I'm just like, mm. It just looks like people are just intentionally trying to keep people, just like break people up. You know, just a whole bunch of mess. So, Source is saying, just protect your energy. Like, somebody is, has a sacred relationship coming your way. Um, so, Source is putting together divine relationships, divine friendships, romantic relationships. Like, it's just going to feel so much different from the toxicity that somebody may have been around where you just feel like you're, in, you know, you just, you know, you're looking around like, okay, I'm waiting on some things to change. And it's just like, it's just not, it's just, you know, yeah. It's just disappointing, like a deep, just one big deep disappointment, like everybody's just lost, like everybody's just like just waiting for one big, you know, something big to happen, and Source is saying, but you are, it's already predestined for you to be very wealthy, so Source is like helping somebody to, like I said, create some kind of sustainable income, you know, for yourself, um... When we talk about the seven of pentacles, I feel like somebody just saw like the worst of some stuff. Like somebody saw something was just like, maybe it was just like some deep jealousy or envy or, you know, sacrificial stuff, you know, that somebody saw um, and just said, nah, I'm good, right? But so now you're looking at things through a long-term lens, you know, sustainable results, some kind of perseverance. You're starting to think about like investing in yourself and your, you know, just long term, you and your person and all of that stuff and just getting away from all of that. And there's some energies that's definitely trying to call you from there, you know, from a, from the lower frequency. So here we have surrender. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go and setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. I'm for real. This is 41. Four and one is five. Five is the... Um, it's just a turning point, you know, for somebody, just like where you are in your journey. Somebody just feel like you're at a turning point. You're a hard working person and you, you were in, you know, in spaces where, you know, you just have a lot of people who are trying to prey on your gifts and talents. That's what it looks like here. And, um, and money just seemed to kind of sort of be at the helm of something like money, your, your generosity and all of that and, you know, mind games and all that. But don't let your past hold you back. So somebody may want to pull their birth chart and find out what your south node is. That's where you came from. And then your north node is where you're going. Find out what your north node is. Here are the questions. 
First question is, what are your top three priorities this week, month, and year? Second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? That's also very important too, Taurus. But that's what I have for you. You know, like I said, you. I feel like somebody is... Um, there's been a lot of people that's been, you know, praying for you, just like, you know, just, and, and that's what Source is putting you around, just very divine, you know, partnerships and divine relationships where I feel like it's just a, it's a different balance. And I do feel like somebody's going, you know, procreate, like have a baby or something, or maybe you may have two babies, you know, um, with something, just the life that you're creating for yourself, just after leaving some circus behavior behind. You'd be surprised at what people do when it, when money is involved and, you know, you're just trying to create, you know, to, trying to create a life and you're dealing with just all kinds of just, like I said, chaos and confusion. Like I said, you, you moving on from the disappointment, whatever anxiety you may have had before is going to go away. Watch. You're going to just going to feel like, okay, this cycle is up. I had some anxiety before. Now I can relax. Just look back and just go, wow. Okay. Yeah. So source has a way of, when we talk about water, when you tap into the living water from within, source has a way of opening up that vault door and people don't even realize that they outside of the vault door. They trying it all kinds of ways. So they may try to block your money one way. They may try to, like, let's say for instance, if you're on YouTube, they may try to block your money on YouTube. They may go to whenever those surveys come up and say that your material is offensive, you know, to try to mess up the algorithms, try to mess up your money in some way, shape, form or fashion. You know, because they couldn't, they couldn't marry your gifts, right? Or, but see, the way that Source does stuff, Source will make sure other businesses are thriving that they don't even know about. Like, so, so that's what I'm saying. Somebody is learning how to invest in us, in themselves in other ways where people don't even know about it. And so that's why, that's how Source is opening up doors. Just keep, you know, keep things off of social media. Keep things off social media. You got all kinds of spirits on social media. People just found a creative way. You know, like, not even using social media for what it was intended. It was, in, uh, you know, intended to keep people in contact with loved ones across, you know, the continents and that kind of stuff. And people were just using it for all kinds of mess, right? So that's what I'm saying for you all. I definitely feel like somebody was able to identify whatever their fear, doubt, uncertainty, you know, whatever your demons were. I feel like you were able to identify those and just, you know, um, get to your throne um, and... Um, and and move forward so that's what i have for you i will see you all um i will see you all in the next reading um yeah that's what i have for you so congratulations to you i'll see you in the next reading bye